What's up guys, it's McNulty here. I hope you're all doing well. And we have a couple of new heroes in the portal today. Um, surprise, surprise. It seems like new heroes are just released every few days now. Um, and we've got a new family on top of that. So we've got the Covenant Summon that's back. Um, and we've got two brand new five-star heroes in the portal. No four stars, unfortunately. Um, but there are some pretty decent heroes in this portal that you can grab. Um, so it's a good one to summon in. But we're going to have a look at the two new heroes today. We're going to look at this one first. So it is Mist Weaver. Pretty cool name. Uh, Mist Weaver is a nature hero of the monk class. So monk class is pretty good chance to withstand status ailments. And this new family is the jungle hunter family. So we've had the monsters, the abyss, and now the jungle family. So the Jungle Hunter family get a bonus for two or more heroes, and it's anywhere from plus 5 to plus 20% HP. That is a pretty cool bonus. If you manage to get a couple of these heroes, increasing the HP is just, it's great, I think. Um, I'd rather have that than some of the other bonuses, so it's a pretty decent one. They get the Monster Hunter Island bonus, which obviously is not running at the moment. Um... And they have these two passives. So the first passive is the Hunter's Mark, where they give the Hunter's Mark on a random enemy, and the target receives 150 damage over three turns. Now we know already this effect can increase anywhere up to 1500 damage in total, uh, depending on how many times you cast that um, Hunter's Mark. The other passive is Hunter's Vigor. So when the character casts this special skill, they get plus 20% attack for three turns. And this effect can be active in addition to other effects that alter attack. So the Hunter's Vigor effect is going to stack on top of other attack increasing effects. So if he's got attack up already, he casts his special skill, he gets an extra 20% attack. And I'm not sure if there's going to be a cap on that, but that is a pretty cool additional passive effect that these these new heroes get so mist weaver <laughs> he, he, i'm sure it's like back on the monkey theme this guy um he's definitely a monkey of some sort sort and he's got those knuckle dusters ready to go and his special is called misty punches so i'm guessing that's what he's about to do um in terms of stats we're looking at without the max power preview 834 attack really decent attack stat, 830 defense, and 1396 health. So pretty good balance stats across the board with a slightly lower health stat. With the max power preview on, that defense is amazing, nearly 1,000 defense, 929 attack, and 1685 health. So it doesn't hurt him, even though his health is slightly lower, the defense is high enough for him to be survivable. And he is running at fast speed on top of that. So let's have a look at what he does. So Misty Punches, he's going to deal 350% damage to the target and nearby at fast speed, which is a, it's going to rock your world, <laughs> put it that way. Then the target and nearby enemies resist healing and receive 220 damage per each resisted heal for four turns. Now, we've seen this recently with Zhao Tu um, from the Lunar Family Heroes, and it is an amazing effect because, I mean, you just want to heal to get rid of all of that damage that he's just done, but if you do, you're going to get 220 damage per each resisted heal. So not only are you unable to heal, but you're getting damage on top of that. It can be cleansed, but you've got to have a cleanse ready to go. And also for healers that heal before they cleanse, which is the majority of them, um, they're going to receive that damage and it's just it's just not going to work. <laughs> so it's a great, great preventative effect that he's got going on. There is a stack as well on top of all of that, if that wasn't even enough. And he gets plus 15% attack against the weaker element. So that can stack up to 10 times, which is, what, 150% additional attack 
against the weaker element. So, I mean, you could throw this guy in on your Titans teams even, um, and he would do some pretty serious damage against those blue Titans. So there's a lot going on here at fast speed. He is an absolutely brutal hero um and congratulations if you did get him but if i find you um on the raids i'm going to be re-rolling real quick because this guy is just going to be a punisher of note um and he adds to the already massive array of hit three um hard hitting uh nature heroes that we've seen released into the game recently so Pretty excellent addition to your roster. Congratulations if you did manage to grab this guy. On to the next one. The other hero in the portal is called Bone Crusher. Great name. Uh, Bone Crusher is a fire hero of the Barbarian class. As you'll know by now, it's not my favorite class. And Bone Crusher gets this family bonus as well, which is the same for the Jungle Hunter family, where they increase HP if you've got two or more of them on your team. So we're not going to go over that again. Um, Bone Crusher is definitely another monkey. So, I mean, these the jungle theme is like ape slash monkey heroes. I think supposed to be a female, but pretty ugly looking chick if you ask me <laughs> sorry guys um but yeah um this is what we've got now this is what we've become <laughs> empires and puzzles welcome to 2023 with bone crusher um the ape thing uh anyway moving on Passive skills are the same. So we've got the Hunter's Vigor, which I already told you I really like. They get plus 20% attack, and that can stack on other effects that alter attack. Um, in terms of stats, I mean, straight away, I have got the max power preview on, but I'm seeing 1,007 attack, which is pretty darn good. Nearly 900 defense, so a little bit lower on the defense than the other hero we just looked at. And 1690 health, so pretty decent stats all round, but slightly lower defense. If we switch it off, yeah, you can see that the, the attack stat at 865 already is, is just massive. Now the special skill is going to be Fury of the Silver Back. And at far speed again... Bone Crush is going to be dealing 540% damage to the target. Now, the damage is increased by 30% per each living ally of the caster. So that means that if you fire this gorilla off um, at the first charge, you're going to get an extra 4 times 30, what's that, 120% damage. So 660% damage to the target. And as long as you keep your team alive, it's going to be 660 every single time she fires. So that is brutal. I mean, that is just a, a kill one special. I think I remember a time when Liana was the best sniper in the game and she was like 512%, I think. Um, and you could just take a hero out and it was like, man, this chick is amazing. I mean, just look at this one, 600 and 60% damage if you add that multiplier and a 1007 attack stat. I mean, I'm, I'd be surprised if that doesn't take an enemy out. Maybe if they had boosted health, they'll survive. But other than that, they are done for. And the stack, again, max 10% gets plus 15% attack against the weaker element. So do they need an extra attack stat on top of that? Probably not, but it is there. Um, so there you go. I think I'm going to probably go out on a limb with this one and say that this is probably the hardest hitting sniper in the whole game at the moment. There is a condition to be met in that your and your allies have to be alive. Um, but most of the time, that's the whole point is that you're keeping your allies alive. And even if you've still got one ally on the team, it's still not going to be 540 percent. It's going to be 560. Um, no, 570. Sorry. So a really amazing, amazing sniper. I think your saving grace is that he can only or she can only kill one hero at a time. Other than that, she's an absolute monster. So, yeah, congrats if you did manage to grab Bone Crusher as well. Um, you've got some other really good heroes that are featured in this portal. Um, funnily... <laughs> I did a couple of summons and I grabbed a second copy of Bera. It would be just my luck that I'd get the one that I've already got. 
Uh, but the other heroes in here, I mean, Zandrella's amazing. Alucard's just great. Um, Minion Destroyer. Adelinda is fantastic. Hard hitting defense down to three at average speed. And then the other two that we've looked at are great as well. The only downside, unfortunately, is that we don't have a new four star or a new three star in the portal. So come on, SG. We want more four stars and we want more three stars that are actually any good um, because those are the ones that we play with the most <laughs> and we don't have to spend these expensive materials on leveling. So I wish you guys all the best in your summons. Please drop us a like, subscribe if you found the video useful and let me know in the comments if you agree that we should have more four stars released. Um, I think it definitely is time that we push for more of those three and four star heroes that we all love as well as these super duper overpowered five star heroes that are getting released. So uh, yeah, have a great day. Enjoy the Covenant Summon. I wish you all the best and I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now.